Windows 10 will officially become end of life on October 14th of 2025. This does not mean that it's going to stop working on your computer, but it does mean that it will become vulnerable to viruses and malware because it will no longer receive updates after that time. Unfortunately, Windows 11 has some pretty strict requirements when it comes to upgrades, so many older PCs will not qualify unless you bypass those requirements. It will require a TPM module version 2.0 or above, a modern UEFI BIOS, and what Microsoft considers to be a modern CPU. Microsoft having such strict requirements for their new OS is a major problem because that means millions and millions of computers that work perfectly fine are now probably going to end up in the landfill. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to bypass the TPM and CPU requirements. However, you really still need to have a TPM at least on the 1.1 version. You can check if your PC has a TPM by going to start run tpm.msc and then see if you actually have one in there. If you don't, you're going to have more problems installing Windows 11. But if you do at least have an older TPM with an older CPU, here's how to bypass it. The easiest way to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 is through Windows Update. But if your computer is too old and doesn't meet the requirements, then you will see the following error message that will stop this from working. So the first thing we need to do is create the following registry key. So go to Start, Run, RegEdit, and then navigate to H key Local Machine, System, Setup, MO Setup. Next, we're going to create the following DWORD 32-bit value. The value needs to be named Allow Upgrades with Unsupported TPM or CPU. After you create that value, you need to set the value data to 1. You can do this by simply double-clicking on the value that you just created and changing the 0 to the number 1. After you have performed this operation, restart your computer. Now we need to download the ISO image for Windows 11 directly from Microsoft. You can do this by going to Google and simply searching for Download Windows 11. Make sure you are only clicking and downloading software from the official Microsoft website. Scroll to the bottom of the Microsoft website and find the option for downloading the Windows 11 ISO image. You will be prompted for the language that you want. Once you download the image, you can now mount it from within Windows 10 and run setup. The Windows 11 setup process will now run and check the requirements against your PC. If you performed the registry edit steps in this video correctly, then you will be prompted to accept the warning and then continue with the upgrade. The upgrade should now run and successfully upgrade your computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11. However, if you continue to get warnings about the TPM, it's possible that you are missing the TPM entirely or you have an older legacy boot system on your motherboard, which means you may not be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Don't give up just yet though. I will put a link in the description of this video to a Tom's Hardware article that you should read through to try all of the different options to see if you can get past this requirement. So if you currently have a computer that is lacking a TPM but does have a UEFI Secure Boot compatible BIOS, then give this next option a try. Check out the description of this video and find the GitHub link that has the script. Then copy that script and place it into a blank text file. Then rename the file to a .cmd file. This should allow you to execute the script which will disable the TPM check. 
then you can run the Windows 11 installer as I have shown you in this video. Again, the script only gets around the TPM check and not the secure boot, which at the time of this video I don't think is possible to do because I've tried what's on the internet and it doesn't work. Although you cannot disable the secure boot check, one way around it is to go into the BIOS settings on your computer and set your SATA or RAID mode to use AHCI. But only do so at your own risk because you could also render your computer unbootable. Using the method in this video, I was able to bypass the requirement for the older TPM and CPU on my computer, and Windows 11 runs great so far. One thing I would recommend, though, to run Windows 11 on an older PC is to set the visual options for best performance so you can disable a lot of the newer visual features that are just going to slow down your computer. And there you have it, that's how to upgrade an older PC to Windows 11 and get many, many more years of use out of your perfectly good computer. I hope this saves you money, and better yet, saves your computer from the landfill.